Hi, I'm Terry from uh, Belmont Equipment. Today we're going to show you how to adjust the manual limits on a uh, Bell 50 chair. Uh, this is the same way you would adjust it for a Bell 50, a Bell 50N, a Bell 20 or plus, or a Bell 20N. First, you would need to turn your power off and then remove the three covers, the three screws that take put the main pump cover on. Once we have the main cover off, you remove the cover for your relay box. When you have the cover removed from there, you would then turn your power back on. Inside the relay box, you have your circuit board, which in the, if you were looking in from the front, you would see on the right hand side, a little dip switch that is red in color. And you would slide that over to limit. And you notice that a little red LED light came on and the unit starts to give you a tone, a beep tone, a single beep. You are ready now to make any kind of adjustments that you need for your limits. By using your foot control, you can take the chair and raise it all the way up. And the chair will the chair will move until it won't go anymore. And then it will lower back down when you let go. You would then go back to the box and go to the two push buttons. There are two push buttons right below the slide switch that one is red and one is black. We're going to use the red one, which is the store button. So what we would do then is push in and release the red button. If you listen to the tone, it has changed to a deeper tone and it is giving you two beeps. We then go to the foot control and press down and release the base up switch which is now set the base up limit. But we're still in a program function, so what we would do then is lower the base down. And you would be controlling this to where you want it to stop, dependent upon what type of unit you have. If you have a swing unit, you do not want it to come all the way down to crush covers. But you bring it down to a point where you want it to stop, and then again, go to the box and push in and release the red button and then go and press the base down switch on the foot control or on your backrest. You have now set your base, de base down and base up limits. If you're still, we're doing, still doing the programming, we would go then to the backrest and we would take the backrest and we would raise it all the way up and again when the backrest comes all the way up it stops and then falls back a touch. We bring it back just a little bit more. And then we go to the box and push in and release the red button, which is store. And then we go to the back up switch and press it. The only other program now is the recline. So we would go to the backrest and we would lower the backrest all the way back which would take a second without any weight in it. It's a little bit, it, it would go slowly.
once we have the back all the way back, again, we would program it by simply pushing the store button, which is the red button, and then the backrest recline switch. And when now we have programmed all four, we would simply go back to the box and take the slide switch and turn it off. If you notice, the red LED went off and the beeping has stopped. So now all your, all your limits have been set. The backrest will come up to where you want, you had set it and stop. The base will go all the way up. And stop when it, where you set it and then the same with the base coming down. It will come down to where you had set it and it will stop. And that is all there is to setting your manual limits on the chair.